So welcome. Hi. Um, Lucas will present us today um, how to best use events on Kiko Chat. And welcome, Lucas. Thank you very much for your time. Hi, everyone. Let's start with some brief introductions. Uh, I'll introduce myself and you can introduce yourself. And I'd like to hear what you're hoping to learn today. So my name is Lucas Chaffee. I'm a software engineer at Kiko Chat. I'm an open space facilitator. So I do online dialogue and in-person dialogue I'm based in New York. And let me just open the floor and if you'd like to introduce yourself and let me know what are you hoping to learn today? So I'm Alexia from Knoxville, Tennessee, and I love the World Happiness Fest gardens. And so this is a little different. And right, so what's the difference between an event and having people join in gardens in terms of open space? I'm very new to open space. Hi, Lucas. I'm Arturo Villegas. I'm from Mexico City. And, um, well, um, the experience to uh, browsing in the gardens is new. Uh, I guess uh, I, want, I, I, I need to practice. So, but uh, I'm here uh, with careful about uh, your knowledge about it. So I'm happy to stay here and say hello to everybody. So hi, good morning, my name is Yolanda. I'm also in Mexico City. And uh, really what I want, I would, like, I would like to understand all, if, if you will, because I'm very, um, I mean, I'm not, it's, it's very new for me, but as many have said, I would understand how to, to better serve our, um, our potential, uh, how you say like co customers, quote unquote, no, that will actually enter our chats and, and how can we better uh, understand and put this in motion as our main platform to start interacting with our, uh, with the people that actually work with us or, or follow us. Liliana, since, since uh, you're not so good with your voice, maybe you want to put in the chat if you have a, um, a question. I tried. I tried. Okay. Um, okay. Um, uh, I am like the baby association that I would like to understand together with Yolanda to, to use this tool to, to expand the uh, to expand the, what we do in the association, but also have this networking that supports the, 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 the part of the NGO that we do. So just understand how we can capitalize and maybe do some, some events here. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> no. Thank you. Welcome. Hi. Welcome. You just joined in time to present yourself and say what you're, if there's anything specific you're hoping to learn today. Um, hi, my name is Andrea. I'm from the Agora in New York and I'm not quite sure, but I thought that we were here to learn how, how it works, um, uh, this technology, no? Very good. Well, Welcome, welcome. I'm Lucas. Nice to meet you. I'm also in New York. Uh, happy to answer all your questions. Please feel free to interrupt me at any time. Okay, perfect. There's many different types of events that you can host here on Kiko Chat, and I'll share my screen. Uh, especially Angelica, if you want me to go in one direction or another, just please let me know. Right now, all of us are in what we call the garden. You can call it something different but the garden is a place that you can go at any time to connect without a plan in for a meeting. It's like you take a walk into the park, down the street near your house. You know there's gonna be people there. You don't know who is gonna be there. 
So this is the same thing. It's a place you can go and maybe people from your group are there. If you have a large group, then it's more likely that you run into people. If you have a small group, then it's probably better to schedule specific events. If you are to use the gardens, your group might have a rhythm. Every Tuesday at noon, they come for lunch. Every Thursday at six, they come for a drink. It's up to you. It's very simple. When you get here, just join the conversation. You can rename this button. It can say something else. But that is gonna launch Zoom. And then there's other rooms down here. It's like somebody has joined this room. Or you can just explore different topics. Maybe these are here from before. So people, if they wanna talk about this topic, they can go into that room. And it's just another garden. I'll go in here, I'll click enter. It's a different photo. And these are all photos that you choose. So these are all different places to go. Uh, but the main one is where everyone arrives and you go to the other places if this one gets too crowded. Or inside here, you can go into Zoom breakout rooms. But that's the idea of the gardens. Any questions about this, this garden? Maybe just to um, mention, and um, maybe I could uh, share my screen there, because we do have um, also the gardens on the World Happiness Fest um, Kiko page. This is also on Kiko. Let me just check. The World Happiness Fest Kiko chat page, gardens. And where we are now, it's the World Happiness Exchange Kiko chat gardens. So it's the same type of um, page. And uh, this one, it's also open to you to use um, with your communities, not only during the World Happiness Fest. I mean, that's, you know, that's where we promote it more, of course. But at any time, you can also enter here and the same thing, you enter here the topic that you want to discuss, also changing it from, from what it is and, and you can explore the different gardens. And on the World Happiness Exchange, this is uh, also the, a place that mainly it's also for multipliers uh, in the area of happiness and conscious living, so that uh, you can talk about these, uh, you know, more general and uh, kind of on a more professional level uh, regarding the topic. That's why we chose also these topics of happy learning, happy communities, and so on. So just to add that, pass back to you, Luca. Thank you, that's very helpful. And it makes me think we should always think first, what is our purpose of getting people together? The purpose is not to use the tool. The purpose is to do something, to feel something, to think about something together. And then you decide which tool is going to help your people achieve that purpose. And the tool should be in the background. It should not be the thing on stage your people should be on stage. So always trying to do the thing you wanna do with the least amount of tech or the least friction. So that's one way to go is the gardens. And then the garden is part of a circle. So a circle is a place for a group of people to collaborate. Facebook has groups, Kiko Chat has circles. It's the same idea. In a Kiko chat circle, you have several tools. One tool is the gardens. Another tool is a directory of members. So you can see everybody that is a member of this circle. And another that's helpful is the calendar. So right now there's nothing on the calendar here, but we can go see events that were on the calendar previously. You can see now this event that we are in, it's also in the calendar on the World Happiness Exchange. Oh, let's go over there. Okay. Here's the World Happiness Exchange. We're in the garden. I'll click World Happiness Exchange. I have a, I oh, yes, please. Um, what is the difference between the World Happiness Exchange and the World Happiness Fest? Is it the same? Does the same things appear on the same page or, or not? No, it is a, a different um, purpose. The World Happiness Fest um, circle was set up really to support the World Happiness Fest 
week, you know, when the, the week is uh, taking place or, or uh, like one of the big events, um, then this is what it was set up for. Well, on the World Happiness Exchange, um, it's more like an ongoing, uh, continuous circle for um, all multipliers in the area of happiness. So there we're not only focusing on the gardens or the or events to a specific time, but actually on the continuous conversation and um, you know, to have um, also between us as Agoras, the networking events and so on. So it, it is the same technology, but it just has a um, different uh, say purpose and uh, the target group. Angelica, should they create their own circle that is a sub-circle of one of these, or would they create their own event that goes on the calendar for either circle? It's, usually it would be creating an event. Um, if it's uh, just depending on um, um, you know, what, what's the point, who are you uh, inviting? Um, you can also, like here on the World Happiness Exchange, also, if you want, if you are in one of the sub circles in the language, like in, in Spanish, for example, you will be um, also entering calendars here directly on the English uh, page so that we have all of the events together. So it's easy to have an, an overview. So um, if um, you know you have a big um, community and uh, you do have kind of regular exchange and, and, and want a platform for your specific community, then get in touch. So there is a possibility also, as it says here, to create a new happiness circle, like underneath. And so both is a possibility, but usually you would be creating your events either on the fest, if it's like a general community uh, that you're uh, inviting, especially as uh, part maybe of the World Happiness Fest, or um, if you're meeting with other uh, multipliers, then directly on the World Happiness Exchange. Thanks, that makes a lot of sense. So if you wanted to add an event, you can go down to the bottom of the homepage and you can see the upcoming events. And here's our event today. So people can click on it to go to it. There's other ones coming up. Here's where you can add an event. So, You could put in a title and a description and a start date for your event. And I can show you also today how to customize it, but I think we should come back to that. Other tools that are here in the World Happiness Exchange in this circle. So we've talked about the calendar, that's what you're looking at now. And where it says meet and exchange, that's the gardens where we're meeting right now. Let's just take another look so you can remember what that looks like. So that's the gardens right there, meet and exchange. So you can name it to whatever you like. Normally it's called the gardens. Here's your directory of members. Let's take a look here. 48 members for the World Happiness Exchange and they're all over. Okay, you can see more about them here. Let's go back to the list of tools. So this is the menu. You click menu and you can see the tools. So this is the gardens or the exchange. Here's the director of members that we were just looking at. Here's a calendar. And not every person wants all of these. So often if you create a circle, there'll be just a few, but because you have so many different types of people, some people are gonna be interested in one and not the other and vice versa. So it's all here and they can choose what they want. We'll take a look. We've got questions and answers here. It's when people are asking for a recommendation. They say, what's one of the best ways that I can get the word out to more people about my event? So these kinds of questions. And then you can get very short answers and very short reasons. It's a very collaborative tool. Conversations, we'll take a look at that. That's written conversations by email. So you can st stay notified and get 
in depth on specific topics. You get to choose the topics. Here, if you want to share any resources, like articles or links or videos or files, you can share them in the resource library. There's a newsletter that goes out to all members of this circle. The circle is the World Happiness Exchange. The newsletter goes out every Monday and it says, here are the upcoming events for the next three weeks. And also, here are any announcements that the other members have. Every member can have one announcement per week. It's optional. Here's a list of jobs. And then here is a link out to worldhappiness.foundation. This is, you could put links to other websites in here if you are running this circle, if you're organizing it. And so here, World Happiness Foundation. This is their webpage. So that is what you see in the menu. You can adjust your notification settings too. How frequently do you want to be notified? Okay, if there's new events, send immediately or just once a day. It's up to you. I'll say send immediately. That's, that's helpful. So you'll be notified when a new event is posted. Okay. Next, we can check out the written conversations. And then after that, I can show you how to make your own event. Any questions before we go further? I do have a question. This is Yolanda. How do we, how do the external members of our community join? Do we, do we need to send them an invitation or how, I mean, how do we do that in, in, in order to start creating this community? Angelica, would you like yeah. to say specifically how they joined for this one? It's uh, actually, for now, um, it's, no, not for uh, now. Not for now. I mean, I mean, for the kickoff in general, for the kickoff. Let, let's say that okay. that we understand this fully. So, how would how would they? How would I tell the people that follow me in my web page, which the three or four hundred people that I already have in my, I would say, CRM database, that they have to join this? How how do I invite mm -hmm. them? That's my question. There, here, up here, you see the link um, to the World Happiness Exchange. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And if you go to the general one, or you can also point them to our, on the um, website of the World Happiness Foundation, there is also okay. a link uh -huh. with the explanation what it is about. You know, if you want okay. to get them to, to, to the interested also in the foundation work, maybe that's the best way, uh, the best uh, page to share. And then they have there directly the link here um, to the uh, community web page. Okay. But you can also give them directly here the, the uh, link to the right. events page, right. you know, if you uh, want to uh, want them to mm -hmm. see this okay. first. Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. That, Thank you. That, that's a good strategy, I'd say. Create an event and then invite people to the event. Because mm -hmm. they will come to an event. And then when they come to the event and they participate, then they automatically become a member of the circle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then that means they automatically get the newsletter yeah. every okay. Monday. And they can turn that off if they like. Okay, okay, thank you. That's, that's fantastic, thank you. You're welcome, Yolanda, great question. And you can and the other, on the- Sorry, 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 sorry that just, but it, it's only in English though. It's only in English. I mean, I mean, no. the, the page, it's only in English. Well, we, I mean, so what I'm seeing here is upcoming events, blah, blah, blah. It's so, ah, so I can switch to Spanish though. So yes. Exactly. You can, you can communicate your language up here. Okay. Exactly. Now it's say um, this so part. you can on the top side you can, presentation for Agaras. Uh -huh. So the menu is in Spanish, that, not the administrator menu, but yeah, well, the menu for the for the people that will join. I, I mean, because and, also and the people. other thing. The other part is, of course, that we have a circle specifically for uh, Spanish okay. speakers. So okay. then you, do, you go to this sub-circle from the World Happiness Exchange and there all the conversations, they are in Spanish. So okay. also there people can exchange in Spanish. Here, exactly. This is the one. Okay, in Espanol, exactly. Okay, see, I see it. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, fantastic. That's exactly what I was looking for because... Because I was saying most of the community don't speak don't speak English, so yeah. it would be mm -hmm. very difficult for them to interact and understand. Okay, that's fantastic. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, we we have translated the instructions for the live events into Spanish, and 
the other languages that are shown here, Super. but some of the instructions that are outside of the live events, we still have some work to do. So here, for okay. example, some more buttons, this, but if you go into this event here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then, okay, live events is turned off right now for the circle. Let me go back to the World Happiness Exchange. Yeah, we'll that's, look, where, that's where we have all of the events uh, is actually on the on the general page. So, so that we also, you know, we see that there is traffic because if there is just one event here and one event there, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't engage people so much. That's yeah, why we have and all I, of them. This, I see already one in Spanish with this. Group. Exactly. Julia, mensual, whatever. So there's such sí. mm -hmm. So here, this part's in, the, see the instructions are in Spanish here. Mm -hmm. uh, here Participar, okay. See, uh -huh. not yet the date we didn't do that yet but one hour and uh -huh. add yeah, to my uh -huh. calendar here these buttons mm -hmm. yeah okay that's fantastic okay thank you very much that's really you're welcome good. yeah uh, angelica and a jam board cannot be embedded unfortunately it, it won't i don't know who created the event but jam board is one thing that cannot work Okay, this is this was uh, Paco. He's um, he's going to join us uh, shortly, so maybe we can then okay. tell him. Okay, thank you. I absolutely will. So, let's go take a look at another event. Should I keep it in Spanish or English? With most people that will watch the recording, which language do you think they'll? I don't know. We have uh, lots of people, both in English and in Spanish, but. Most Spanish speakers will be able also to um, well to listen anyways in English. We're we're speaking English right now, so <laughs> okay. Well, we can I'll put it in English then, and I'll show a very different event. So yesterday, we had about eight hundred people in this event for a, a trade show for plants. So thirty six exhibitors showing what they sell called Plantarama is the name of it in New York. They do this for 25 years and this was the first time they did it online. And this is your event page. So right now we're meeting in the gardens or the exchange, but here, if you wanna schedule an event, this is what the page is like. It has a start time, a name, a button where you can click now to Join the conversation. I'll show you how to do that. And you can put some images in here, some text, put it in, write it in any language that you want. Here's a video of how to use this event. We'll see where people are coming from. Mostly in the United States. So now we'll go into the event. And you can customize all the things on the page so you can make it a, a lot of fun. Here's a picture at the top and a picture on the left. We are in the lobby. And there's an announcement in the lobby. Here's the schedule. So you could put in PDFs of the speakers. put in all the documents that you want to make your event run. This is for larger events, but you could also do small ones here that are pretty simple and you could set all this up. This is where the speakers were going in the Palm House. It's just the name of the place where the conversations were happening. Uh, here's all the different rooms for all the different speakers. So I'll click Palm House and then join video over here. The event is over, so you don't join video anymore. But, and then different tools when you get into the Palm House. I think what is uh, interesting maybe also uh, for people, and you showed it um, the last time, is that you can also integrate social media here, for example. So if you have your own Instagram account or something, you can actually integrate that. 
as well if there's a, a bigger event that you're organizing yes let's see here we have some youtube videos instagram Facebook. So that's the idea. And you create an event. It's like a conference and it has many different rooms. Each of the rooms has its own photo and all the different tools that you want to put in there. And then a different Zoom meeting. They're all these rooms going down have a separate Zoom meeting with up to 300 people in each one. You can have 1,500 people in one event. I can share my info here. And now they will have my name and email address. I'm open to any questions that, that you'd like to ask. So that's, uh, so we have uh, seen basically now the kind of the very um, simple um, tool in the gardens where you, you know, don't have to set up anything. And then this, what uh, Lucas showed now, this is kind of the other extreme of the super organized conference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and then in between, everything is possible. Because when That's you set right. up also a, an event, it can be just a simple Zoom meeting like we have now as well. Mm -hmm. So that's also possible. You know, also you can have, um, when you, maybe um, Lucas, you could just show up, uh, show like when we create a regular new um, event um, on Kiko, what it looks like. And then, so people can see that you can also uh, take notes there together. So there's, that would be kind of the intermediate part, let's say yes. for yes. the event. Is, and welcome to those who've just joined us. Is there anyone who is brave and would like to set up an example event just to show how easy it is with no experience. It'll only take about five minutes and I'll talk you through it. And I'll say, click here, and here, and here. Anybody wanna give it a try? They'll share their screen with us. Okay, I'll go ahead and, oh yes. Okay, Alexia. So Alexia, yeah. please start on the page for the gardens. You have the one with the white, flashes in the sky, you found that, that link. If not, I'll put it into the, the chat here. This is the page yeah. where we launched Zoom from. Okay. Great. And so everyone, right. is, can you share your screen? I'll show you how to do that if you're not familiar. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yep, I have to open. Ah! Let's open that. Okay, here we go. Do Great. you see that? Super. Okay, all right. Okay, I'll show you what to do. If you scroll to the top of the page, please. There's a menu. Please click menu in black and white and then calendar. There we go. You could add your, your profile information at the top, but it's not important right now. So there's a green button in the middle of the screen that says add an event. So this is what everyone who's on the call can do. You can add an event. We'll click on that and then you'll type in a title. You could say public test event or something like that. Just, oh, okay, or you can create, per, okay, great, perfect. You just type in the title of the event and then let's schedule a, a date in the future. You could say January, 2022, if you want. This way, nobody's gonna go to this and think that the event's supposed to happen today. And the duration, you could say 60 minutes or 180 minutes for a three hour event will be 180 minutes or whatever you like. There we go. That's all you need to do to schedule the event. Scroll down and click the green button, please, to schedule the event. It'll take a moment and the calendar is gonna refresh. And now your event is on the calendar. 
So scroll down a little bit to find the event on the calendar. I think it's up a little bit more. We're looking for January 2022. There it is. Listening oh, here to it is. A public test event. Great. So we'll click on it. And now we're going to the event page. And you'll see this event is already set up for people to participate. You just copy the link and you paste it into an email or into Twitter or wherever you want to share it. Please click the green participate now button and we'll see what's already ready for you without having to do anything. So there is the default picture on the left for the main room. You're in the main room. And on the right, you could type. Just start typing right in the center. Yeah, everybody's gonna type in a different color. And so this is a notes page that is ready for you and your Zoom meeting. If you wanted to join Zoom for this event, you click the button at the top left that says join. You don't have to do it now because all of us are already in a Zoom meeting. So you click cancel. Very good. And then if you go down to room one on the left side, you see you've got all these different breakout rooms and each of these breakout rooms, you can click on room one. All right, and the page is gonna change. You see a new picture of a butterfly. So you know you're in a different place. There's a new notes page on the right where you could type anything else. So this is separate notes for room one. And then when you wanna join video for room one, you click the button at the top left to join video. So every room has its own notes and every room has its own video and picture. And that's how you can have an interactive event by just typing in a title and a start date. And then I can show you how to customize this to make it look like the plant trade show that I showed earlier. So any questions about what you saw here, everybody? Is this, is each room 300 participants? Yes, normal okay. Zoom meetings are 100. And this is a meeting that we create through Zoom, website to website. So it's not a Zoom Pro account, which has that max of 100. This is a Zoom API account, which has a max of 300. And the cost that we normally charge is $1 per day per person, plus 60 cents per hour per person. But I think we have a special agreement with World Happiness Fest where that has a different price. I don't remember what that price is, but the price is less than what people normally pay. So we should definitely talk about that, Angelica, and figure out uh, so that everybody knows what it costs. Um, we're doing this because you're doing something really neat and we want to help you. If, if, you have a, uh, if you have just regular meetings on here, um, then this is uh, part of the, the foundation. Uh, you know, we'll um, fund this. Um, if you're creating your own circle and have like regular events with lots and lots of people, then let's talk. You know, that, that would be a different story. If you wanted to customize this event and put in a Google Doc, for example, I, I can show you how to do that. I'm gonna give you a link to a Google Doc right now. This is the list of tools you can embed into Kiko Chat. I'll paste this into the Zoom chat. Alexia, please open that link that's in Zoom chat. Because you're screen sharing, it's hard to find. You have to click more and then chat. Do you see that? Uh, I had to scroll down, yep. Okay, so here we have a Google Doc, and this would be a Google Doc that you would create, but right now it's just the Google Doc that I'm giving you. So please copy the link in the address bar at the top. Great, and you can close this tab now if you want to. Okay. Now, to put this Google Doc inside this event, please click the edit button at the top where it says listening to hear public test event, the uh -huh. title, it, click, it says edit right there at the top left. So here's where you enter the title and the description of the event and the start date and time. And you've already done that. Scroll down a little bit more and you'll see the orange section, customize your main space and breakouts. 
great. Here you can decide how many breakout rooms you want. By default, it's 10. And you can add different titles for your spaces. In the first big rectangle where you have on the screen already, it says add a title for each space. Can you click in there? Please write main stage. And then on the next line, write New York. In the next line, Mexico City. In the next line, Paris. Okay, so we're now naming our rooms with different city names, or we can call them anything we want. Scroll down a little bit more, and now right there in the center of the screen, it says online tools and notes pages for the main space in each breakout. Please click right where you are and paste in the link to that Google Doc. Thank you. So what did we do? We renamed the rooms and we put in a Google Doc into the online tools. Let's go see how it looks. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the green button, please. All right, now, well done. On the right-hand side, you can see the Google Doc. I gave you a non-editable Google Doc, so you don't see any editing tools at the top, like bold or italics, changing the font size. And that Google Doc is in there for the main stage. On the left-hand side, you can see New York and Mexico City and Paris. And so if you go into New York, then there's just the same notes page that was there before. So if you wanted to, you can put in a Google Doc for this page too. And right where we pasted in the Google Doc, it says helpful hints. And it explains how you could put multiple Google Docs or images or videos, just like you saw in Plantarama all in the same room. Okay, so that is the demo. It shows you how to change your rooms, how to change the, the items on the right. You could change the photos at the top left, but that takes a little bit longer, not too long, just a few minutes, but I think you kind of get the idea. Let's open up here for any questions that anyone has. I also wanted to encourage people um, that uh, there are, when you take the newsletter, from when once you signed up um, on the World Happiness Exchange and you get the newsletter, there's also one for um, Kiko, um, for learning about Kiko. And there's always the um, the times when Lucas is there for open office hours when you have questions, or there are also trainings um, with more detailed, uh, you know, where, where you can really also go through your event, you know, through, through the ideas you have, and then Lucas can help you also there directly with your mm -hmm. specific ideas. Thank you very much for sharing that, Alexia. And I pasted the link in the Zoom chat for open office hours, and about six times a week, I have to post them for next week. We just had the final one for this week. Six times per week, we just get on Zoom and people come in, they ask their questions and you can learn about what other people are doing. And Jelica has done a great job putting together all these circles and thinking through a great experience for the participants. So there's many, many tools here and it's more than people want in the beginning but as people start collaborating, then they, oh, hey, I wanna have a conversation, Angelica, where do I do that? Oh, we have a place for that. I want to share a video. I want to post a document. Where do I do that? We have a place. So you start with a live event and video and people are talking and they feel like a community and then they start to want more. And that's where you say, yes, I can turn this on for you. I can turn this on for you. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching the demo. We'll stay here for any more questions that you have, but I'll also put my email address in the chat, lucas at kikochat.com. And I'm on WhatsApp. Here's my number. Maybe something um, to mention at the end. There's really um, all the possibilities you have there when you're just setting up the event on Kiko. So it's also a possibility if you have your own thing, you know, set up and uh, another, I don't know, your own Zoom meeting because you have 
whatever, already prepared something there. It's possible just, you know, on your, you know, when you're editing your page for your uh, Kiko event, also to put an external link there for your event. So that's also completely possible. Then people will see on um, the World Happiness Exchange, they will see that the event is taking place. And when they click on the link, they will go to your Zoom room or to the website that you actually, that you put there. So that's also an option. Mm -hmm. But really like to encourage you, you know, if you have any uh, events that, you know, where, where you're talking either with your community, with other uh, multipliers, just, you know, post the event, try it out. You know, there's nothing you can do wrong. It's really G. Um, the worst scenario, you, if you just try it, want to try it out, you know, you can just delete it afterwards. So don't worry, you know, just go ahead and, and, and give it a, a try. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to many interesting events there on the exchange. If you and would also like. If you, if you have an idea you know, for it also, um, I'm, I'm very glad that Mayanella sta started with the, with the networking events. So maybe if you, I also didn't have time last week to join, but it would be really great if you want to join one of the networking events and then also to get to know each other more. If you would like any other parts of the page translated into Spanish, please write to me and I will give you here are the, the, the phrases we need translated, and then very soon we can make it available. It would be, we'd be happy to help you like that. And if, if you're able to help us, we greatly appreciate it. Yes, thank you. would also like to take the opportunity to thank Lucas, not only for the presentation now, but really also, you know, for your openness to our suggestions, you know, the things that, um, that we discussed already, you know, the things that are possible also in terms of the adaptations. So that's why we also you know, welcome very much your suggestions um, regarding, you know, the page. And um, yeah, let's, let's make it more alive. That's for now the, the important goal. And I'm, I'm very happy that you also, you know, had questions in, in this regard. And that's the key, is helping people connect with people. Unfortunately, we have to do it through a screen right now. But if you create interesting events with interesting people, then they feel connected. And then they are more prepared to be patient and figure out the newsletter or the written conversation tool. So gather your people and let them have a voice and they will feel part of it. And then all always the text should be in the background. And, and adults often feel scared to say, I don't know how to do this. I have a problem with my password or my computer. And they think that that makes them look stupid, but it's not their intelligence. It's just, they haven't done it before. And if you, if you let everyone know this is experimental space, there's friction with the technology, but we're here to help you. It puts them at ease. And when they feel calm, then their mind is open and they can actually listen. Because sometimes when their mind is closed, you could say something, but they're, they don't hear the words. Uh, and I've seen this pattern when people get a chance to get their hands on the tool and then they, they learn something. They feel so excited and they don't feel, these are your participants. When your participants come in, and they're not sure about Zoom, or they're not sure about Kiko Chat. Once they have the first one, they feel excited. But first, you have to let them know it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to not have all the answers. This is a place to experiment. And the purpose is not to use the tool. The purpose is to be with each other. And then, then they're more open to saying that they need help, and you can create a, a help event for them or so please reach out to me with WhatsApp or email or in the open office hours. And I definitely want to translate the site into more Spanish. So if anybody would like to help with that, it'd be great to work with you. Uh, Lucas, uh, it's amazing, the, the platform. But uh, I, I think maybe it's a little confused 
when uh, we arrive to the uh, screen, uh, the welcome screen, uh, because the instruction is, uh, 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 hi everybody, hi everyone, see you in the main room. And when we arrive to the screen, central screen, uh, I don't know where is the main room. The, the button is um, join conversation now. But I, I don't see this button. I uh, scroll down to uh, looking for the, um, for the main room. <laughs> and I can find the main room. Uh, you got yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That was that was um, Marianello who posted uh, last time. I will uh, take away now this uh, this part on the live chat, and uh, because next time maybe somebody is meeting somewhere else. In any case, so not to confuse people. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah. So maybe the 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 uh, exploration central. The, this name. Yes. Yes. So maybe if you put the, uh, for example, uh, this main room. Hmm. In, in this uh, uh, name, it's, it, it could be more useful. Yeah, I think that the, the, we, we called it that way so that it's not, there is no confusion with other main rooms for an event because you could have like the main room for some other event and event. then it's more confusing. <laughs> so <laughs> we said, okay, nobody will call it like that probably. But it's, but it's a good point. I will uh, just take it out. And we keep in mind always to be very clear on the names. Yeah. yeah and that's why I meant that it, was, it wasn't intuitive. Actually, Arturo just pointed out like very, much more clear than me because I, I, I had like the same confusion. And it, I told you like five minutes or so. So, so for me, I think it has to be like much more intuitive so people understand what they need to push. Yes. And move, so it's going to be like easier. Yeah. Because if not, it's going to happen what Lucas was mentioning, no? that people get frustrated with the technology and they think that they're dumb and they think that they don't understand and then they will probably lose them versus trying yes. to them to, to, to be like calm and, and relaxed about like... Yeah, it, it's um, another thing. <coughs> it's missing like a button that says if you are already a member because I did push there and it asked me to, to, to put all my profile again. So I went out first register because I am already a member and then I put the, the, the link again. I think this is what it looks like if you are yeah. not signed in, it says this sign in mm -hmm. gardens one. So that should be like really okay clear. that's yeah that's confusing if it says gardens yeah. one that nobody ever called it gardens one yeah that's that's, that's something for me to fix right there yeah. it's, and um, over. we have already a good suggestion <laughs> great just I, the signing I, is also just confusing like so you have to go up first first sign in if you're already a member and if you are a new member then then register, right? Something like yeah. that. Register yeah. slash sign in, that would be, yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yes, I think it's supposed to say sign in or create a guest username here. So it says gardens one. Yeah. I, I think I put the, um, so that, that you're supposed to sign in because you can actually, that's, that's true for all of your events. You can uh, click when you edit uh, and set up the event you can say if you want to have the option, a guest account. But since uh, also our idea is that all of us, we want to have more members to join the World Happiness Exchange. So then I, I took away this option to be a guest. But okay. you always have this option, you know, to let people just join as guests as well. Thank so you for pointing that out. I will fix that today, Liliana, appreciate that. I'm gonna head to the next meeting. And Super. please reach out if you have any questions. It's been a pleasure speaking with all of you. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much, Lucas.